Marcy, the base lady. Just show me your hands. Hands for the background. Yes. It's a young boy having having this clubbing and cyanose. Right, the peripheral cyanose. Typically, cyanose is crackers are in clubbing, right? Typically, you see the cyanose in fashion is already in oxygen dependent. Yes, putam pot is also there. Look at putam pot that guy. Right. Yes. And also there is another thought, you see this is written 22 by 23 of 4 and the sputum pot for AFB. Sputum for AFB, you see? It is written there and there also suspecting here the TV. Maybe the underlying reason of some of the consolation. You see, you see the sputum, right? So diagnosis is done, right? At the bedside in a young boy having clubbing, right? With the sputum pot, having cuff with the sputum, diagnosis, cystic fibrosis, causing bronchitis is done. All right, so this can be done in by a lot of candidates, but you people have to do a little bit more to go farther to get some of the more and more findings. That is really important. Yes, very good that you have got the clubbing and cyanosis without having any nicotinic staining, wash, we say, along with no lymphadenopathy as well, right? <coughs> Anemia, jaundice, you have to say in your presentation. This young boy is not anemic, not eaten. Because the young boy having anemia and jaundice is a separate diagnostic possibility. So always say the anemia and jaundice. Always non anemic, or no anemia, no clinical evidence of anemia, no clinical evidence of jaundice. Because of patients with the cystic <coughs> with the malabsorption can produce uh, to some extent of anemia. In a young boy having clubbing, such a clubbing and cyanosis, if it would be something like that in a station of cardiology, so you should think about the, yes, the cyanotic and heart disease, at least the tough can be the possibility. Do you understand what I'm saying? So once again, that's why you must tell about, yes, the anemia and jaundice is absent and gum condition is, is good enough or not. Sometimes in a patient with cystic fibrosis, because of malabsorption, I said it, the lung and also the malabsorption, Diagnosis number one, cystic fibrosis. Second is the hypogammaglobulinemia. I said it. Remember. All right. So you, once again, so some extent of malabsorption syndrome and the findings of cellulosis and vitamin deficiency are really common in this case. All right. Of course, the fat soluble vitamin because the pancreas, pancreas is involved. Right. So in that case, we can get some of the ADE means A D E K means fat soluble vitamin deficiency. So we have to look for a little bit more. Next point is the chest. Yes, the chest. We are looking for a chest. You see, this is also chest deformity. Of course, a bit of yes, factus perineum is also there. All right, and on the back, yes, there is typical kyphoscoliosis. We can say this is kyphoscoliosis. All right, <coughs> yes, go back. So this is kyphosis and pectus chest can be very strongly associated and consequence of cystic fibrosis. All right, you are absolutely right, you can say, no problem. Another possibility, yes, the cystic fibrosis is the risk factor for the development of infections, of course. So yes, once again, the infections in a malnourished patients, yes, the tuberculosis is the risk factor. So TB must be accelerated, no worries, you are absolutely right, don't worry. So yes, once again, so this kyphosis and kyphoscolerogens and the chest deformity, you must to come up with this point, this young boy with the factor chest along with the kyphoscoliosis, chest deformity, he has been the more likely to diagnose the same as well as Yes, the next point of the chest, chest findings. So the chest findings, this is very important. The one has said the so percussion not both are hyper resonant. So the diagnosis once again bronchiectasis means you already done your confirming more and more. So you say the bilateral <coughs> upper jaw consolidation on left side. Right. So you see. Hyper resonant it should be done if it is consolidation, right? Convinced? Including enough? Hakuna Shastra. 
Nice. Very typical sound of bron bronchitis, and also this is also sparks. You see, less than that person. Along with crackles, there is sparks also. Fine shot, fine shot, right, right, right. Yes. Yes. The inspiratory spots, of course, diagnosis. Don't take that. Yes. Yes, of course. Yes. No, the sound that is pretty crackles are there, along with there is a sharp sound. The separate sound. Sir, this is Yes, yes, of course. Crackles with spots, alright? Mm -hmm. So very typical sounds are the right the coarse crackles, coarse crackles throughout the whole inspiration. Sometimes you get the expiratory and inspiratory sounds. Yes. Great suffering. Anyway, so very typical case of cystic fibrosis. Yes. So once again, you present your case. Right. The microbial diagnosis of this young gentleman. Yes, the starting with the evidence of chronic lung disease. Yes, he has the peripheral cyanosis, but absent central cyanosis. All right. Number two, he has the evidence of chronic lung disease. Number two, yes, the fingers are clubbed and toes are clubbed. Binatural, symmetrical, clubbing are present. So diagnosis is done. Once again, clubbing, cyanosis, diagnosis, yes, very likely. Bronchiectasis, along with there is a couple with a coarse cut. That's three important features. Four C all together will give you the answer. The diagnosis of bronchiectasis. And of course, once again, the most likely diagnosis of the cystic Clear? Very typical. So my critical diagnosis of the young gentleman is bronchiectasis due to cystic Because of the young gentleman, kyphosis, hector's chest, right? And having the pictures of all these features together, bilateral involved both large joints, <coughs> both both joints of the lung, bi bilateral, uh, both sides. Eh? Along with that, yes, once again, as I said, the bronchic tesis with the GIT involvement, you know, one of the important involvement of cystic fibrosis. So cystic fibrosis, the congenital disease, must you know, autosomal recessive disorder, must you know, and this is nothing but the CFTR gene on the chloride channel, all right? Remember, del 50A, remember. So this mutation leads to the chloride secretion is reduced. So that's why we do the confirmatory diagnostic test at the best side. We can do the sweat chloride test. Once again, more than 40, more than 60, more than 70, respectively, more and more high likelihood of diagnosis. And of course, the genetic test is the diagnostic test. If you ask, if you are allowed to examine the abdomen, what you are expecting? The expectations are hepatosplenomegaly. Remember, hepatosplenomegaly. Because why? Because the cystic fibrosis is a consequence of, because of the duct, you know, right, because of the duct problem means the each and every wire, the chloride channels, so that if the chloride is not secreted, so directly the duct secretions will be thickened enough to block it, causing the block, causing the, yes, all biliary tract will be blockage leading to the cirrhosis, 